The Sexual Harassment in Tertiary Institutions Prohibition Bill 2019 seeks to, among other things, prohibit offenses of sexual harassment in tertiary institutions and impose stiffer penalties on perpetrators or intending perpetrators. It also seeks to criminalize acts of neglect or failure of heads of institution to address acts of harassment within a specified period of time. The proposed legislation also creates a strict liability offenses by removing mutual consent as a defense in the prosecution of sexual harassment cases in tertiary educational institutions and maintain the fiduciary relationship that exists between educators and students. Presenting its report, Chairman of the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, Obeyemi Bamidili, says stakeholders at the public hearing opined that sexual harassment at tertiary institutions has reached an epidemic level, hence the need for the bill. One, that the introduction of this bill is a welcome development and coming at a time when victims of sexual harassment in our tertiary institutions are in a state of despair and probably feeling unsafe and unprotected as a result of the absence of legislations that will curb the menace. Lawmakers took turns to throw their weight behind provisions of the bill during the clause by clause consideration of the bill. Basically what we're seeking to achieve here is that in a criminal case, the essential elements that needs that needs to be proven by the prosecution before you can obtain a conviction. And in most cases, one of the elements that needs to be proven is what we call the mens rea. That's the intention of the person who is alleged to have committed the crime. We have to protect our, uh, our daughters, our sisters, and our mothers from predators. But we also, in the process, we could see clearly that we wanted a very fair means of determining what uh, offense somebody is accused of. The Sexual Harassment in Tertiary Institutions Prohibition Bill 2019 was reintroduced in the 9th Senate by the Deputy Senate President, Senator Ovi Omoagegi, on the 19th day of October 2019. The bill scaled second reading on the 6th of November 2019. From the National Assembly, I am Usao Name Ibizubi, ITV News, Abuja.